Hey guys, Simon here, and I'm finally getting the chance to vlog just to talk to you a bit about the week I've just had. Um, anyone who didn't know, I turned 30 years old last Monday, uh, a week ago today, and I was away for the week. So if you didn't know us beforehand, that's why those limited videos last week, uh, which by the way I will be catching up on over the next couple of days. Um, but yeah, I did manage to capture some footage just to show you where we were, what we were doing. Um, but I wanted to just again talk to you about what happened um, because it was one of the best weeks of my life. It was um, a relaxing, enthralling, um, at times emotional week that was just, it will stay in my memory forever. Um, now I did say I would try and get some vlog footage and I did. I didn't get too much, um, so it would probably be a fairly short vlog. I'll intersperse. Um, stuff that I recorded with voiceovers and you'll probably see uh, some separate shots of me actually speaking to the camera whilst I was away. Um, but yeah, basically what we decided to do was for my 30th birthday, I wanted to go back home down to Liverpool, see some family and friends, have a nice family meal on the Monday. So what we did is we hired a car from uh, one of the local car rental places and we drove down or should I say I drove down because uh, Alex doesn't drive yet but I drove down to Liverpool on the Monday with Alex uh, quite early in the morning because I wanted to get there you know bright and early go and see family and yeah it was a really nice day the weather was beautiful it was like the first day of summer it was 28 degrees Celsius and um, you know, it really helped the journey, you know, go by quickly when you're traveling in beautiful weather. Um, and obviously going out and seeing friends and family was fantastic. I went and saw my nan, went and saw my auntie, um, saw my brothers and my sisters, I saw my mum and dad. And we went for a really nice meal uh, at the night time just to celebrate. Didn't do anything too crazy because, you know, I, I'm not a huge fan of hangovers these days. Um, so I kind of kept it on the light side. Plus, we were getting up early the next day um, just to go and do some things. Go and meet my friend Stephen, who you guys know was Full Metal COS for breakfast uh, with his girlfriend. And it was great catching up. It was great to see him. Uh, we had a really nice breakfast. Then me and Alex went shopping in Liverpool for the day. And at night, we went bowling, which uh, sounds... It might sound a little bit childish, but we actually had a lot of fun. I've not been bowling in a few years, and um, I really enjoyed it. So we had a really nice relaxing day on the Tuesday. Now, our original plan was we wanted to go away somewhere, um, kind of at the end of the week. Originally, we were thinking about maybe going abroad, somewhere like Amsterdam, Rome, somewhere like that. Someone, somewhere, you know, we could have a nice uh, getaway for a short while. But plans were uncertain um, because there was the, the potential for a trip to London on the weekend which did eventually happen so what we decided was to, to play it safe because we only had a couple of days we rented a lodge in Wales and so on the Wednesday we traveled again quite early on um, to the lodge where we planned to spend the next couple of days just relaxing the lodge had a hot tub and it was based on a lake which you'll see coming up I'm going to show you the videos um, it was fantastic. It was so relaxing. The hot tub was fantastic. Um, we had a load of ducks on the pond that we would feed. Um, and we had a really, really good time. The plan was to go up Mount Snowden on the local train. Because God knows I can't trek up a mountain in my physical state. Um, so that's exactly what we did. And I've got some footage to show you of that a little bit later on. Which again, I'll, I'll probably voice over. Um, but what I'll do is I'll show you the introduction to the vlog. I'll show you us arriving at the lodge. You know, showing you around the lodge and just the local area. So uh, enjoy and I'll see you once it's done. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Simon here, and well, I'm starting my blog off late. Um, my 30th birthday was, how many days ago? Two days ago now, so I've been 30 for two days, and we are currently here in the middle of Wales at a little break that we're having just to celebrate. Um, we've literally just arrived at our lodge, which is on a lovely lake, you can probably see behind me, it's so nice. We've got some ducks, I believe, over there. Um, but the lodge itself is just really nice. Um, so we are going to go exploring tomorrow. I'm going to hope to show some footage from Snowden, Mount Snowden. Um, and yeah, just keep it kind of relaxed. It'll probably be a short vlog, not as long as the normal vlogs. Um, but we got a hot tub, so we're going to jump in the hot tub later on. And it should be fun. 
it's weird being 30 it doesn't feel any different I thought it would I thought I'd feel old um, but yeah looking forward to it and should have some more footage for you a bit later on so yeah look at these ducks coming up look at the ducks heading towards me thinking I've got food such cute ducks I think they want to be on camera they want to be on the vlog say hello duckies say hello quack 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 I'm gonna go and buy them some food later and feed them quack 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 hello say hello to YouTube so yeah they're more entertaining than I am so I'll leave it there uh, so one thing I probably forgot to do is just show you guys around um, this is inside the lodge so you can see like right out here we've got the lake uh, I'll show you guys here we've got the hot tub like it's covered at the moment and you can tell the weather it's br typical British weather in the summertime Monday was absolutely scorching when we weren't really doing all that much and now today it's yeah it's like this um, so we've got a nice little TV down there that's my laptop there's Alex on the couch um, it's a very very intimate but nice lodge anyone who saw the vlog that we did last year in the Lake District um, that lodge was a lot bigger but I like this one better I think um, just a very nice tidy little kitchen just you know around here um, then we've got the master bedroom right here again just kind of very basic um, see just around the corner there with you know again more views out into the lake my camera works terrible here got a nice little bathroom in here I'll show you guys um, it's a jet bath and yeah it's all just very nice there's me um, and then there's like a weird little almost like a Little hideaway up up the up the stairs. Um, it's very very tight up there, so I'm I'm not going to go up. But you'll be able to see up there. There's like another bed. I don't know if you guys can see. But yeah, it's a lovely little lodge. Um, ideal for just a couple of days we're going to be here. So uh, yeah, gonna go for some food now. Okay, so that was the lodge that we were on. As you can see, it was lovely. It was a nice little cozy lodge. Um, and the setting was fantastic. You know, we're right on top of a lake. Um, all of the animals there were so cute. And, you know, they were very friendly, very timid. Uh, the hot tub, which you will see a little bit of footage of a little bit later on, um, again, was really nice. Um, it was just so relaxing. It was so serene. Um, Wales is a beautiful country. It's quite small, but it is very beautiful. And fortunately, it's only about an hour's journey from where we were to my home, so it's really not too far to travel. Um, so yeah, we decided to, the next day we got up, we'd book tickets on a steam train going up um, to the top of Mount Snowden. Uh, it was, again, it was another beautiful, gorgeous day. Um, you can see the surroundings. Um, it was just another one of those places where it is very, very serene and picturesque. And the weather YouTube couldn't have been now. better down at the station, at the base of the station. So this was the uh, the steam train that we were getting on. It was just a single carriage pushed by a single steam train. You know, not the seats weren't very comfortable. But, you know, it was only an hour that we were on the train for uh, as we climbed up the mountain. And this is the view inside. You can see Alex trying to get some photos. Um, windows all around so you could see everything. Um, you know, it, well, it was really great. So here we are just setting off from the station um, at Lamberis, which is where a lot of the people who hike start off their journey because it's at the very base of the mountain and it, it's got one of the, uh, the easiest paths upwards. Um, so we were very excited to see, obviously, a lot of the scenery and see what we could you know, find out at the top and see what we could see there. <coughs> So this is the Lamberis Falls. It's a uh, lovely little waterfall close to the station. Just this is literally two minutes after departing. 
Um, already you see lovely features of the of the mountain um, and they only got better as we got higher and higher and higher um, as you'll see there's a lot less foliage as we get higher um, and a lot more drops so uh, there you can see one of the mines they just use mines in the background another lovely day the weather was really perfect So a lot of these videos is just me trying to capture some of the um, the sights, you know, and, and some of the surroundings. For a lot of the early part of the journey, there wasn't a lot to see because uh, we were surrounded by some, um, you know, embankments that cut off a lot of the view. But as we got higher, the views got a lot better. And again, as I mentioned, you'll see some steep drops that had me clenching a little bit. So they have these little stations that you stop at to let the other trains by because it's just one track. Um, there was three or four of them. And uh, just gives you time just to relax and look around the local area. So this is uh, the first time we see some of the trekkers because um, the railway runs parallel to the hiking route. So we saw a lot of trekkers stop, get their phones out, take pictures of the steam train. Um, this is a very interesting little rock valley that we were heading into. And the train's actually pushing us from behind, so you've got a clear view of what you can see ahead. Um, so that's pretty nice. And uh, as I say, from this point onwards it starts to get very steep and very high. And, um, you know, the, the train was working really hard to push us up there. Okay, so this is the first time you really start to see some of the the sheer drops. Um, it's about the mountain's about three and a half thousand feet up. I think it's the tallest mountain in the UK. Um, and yeah, th this really—I mean, it was beautiful, but at the same time, I wasn't so comfortable with the height. You know, we'd driven. You see, you see a road down there, and we had driven down that road to get to Lamberis. So it was very unusual seeing the road from such a high perspective, having driven down it just shortly before. But again, beautiful views. The The weather starts to get a little bit uh, darker as we get higher up. And you'll see when we get to the summit that unfortunately the weather up there isn't too great. But beautiful views and yeah, a very, very steep drop there. Okay, so this is us getting close to the summit here. You'll see more hikers getting uh, getting further up, but it became apparent that that grey weather was not going to bode well for us as we got towards the top. Hey guys, we made it to the summit, but we can't see anything. Yep, it is. There's Alex. Yep, there's a very summary. Bloody, feet. So Something yeah, here, um, we've reached the summit of snow. It's about three and between three and three and a half thousand feet. I think it actually tells you precisely how much it is around right here. It probably does. Um, the weather on the ground was lovely. It was beautiful and sunny, as you probably saw. And then the journey up, and now we're just in the clouds. It's about one thousand and eighty-five meters. One thousand eight hundred meters. One, no, so one thousand eighty-five meters. Yeah, it's yeah. about three thousand feet, I think. Um, so you can't see anything. You just make out the rocks there, um, which is a little bit disappointing, but you... That's because we're at the same place as the clouds. Yeah, we're in the clouds, we're literally away with the clouds. Um, so we're going to go back down, you've probably seen some of the footage of us going up. Um, it's pretty cold, glad I brought a coat, but uh, yeah, this is Snowden. I don't, I don't think I'm going to go to the summit because it's, uh, it's quite steep and I don't have my grippiest shoes on, so... I don't trust myself, but we'll see what happens. So yes, we, we did make it to the summit, and I was extremely out of breath. Um, Alex climbed the final few steps, you'll just see them there. I decided not to, because it was quite steep and wet, and uh, yeah. And a final shot of the train, just as we were leaving the station. I'd recommend it if you're in Snowden. So yeah, that was our visit up 
to Snowden, um, as you can tell at the summit, we could not see anything. So I didn't take edit really any footage, and it didn't take too much footage coming back down either. A lot of fun. It was very, very cold up at the summit. Um, even though it's only three and a half thousand feet above where we were in Lamberis, um, you know, where it was very warm, very sunny, completely different up at the top. Um, and it was funny because we had groups of people, like uh, there was specifically one group of American backpackers who got to the top and then were instantly remarking about, oh, that was worth it. What wonderful sights because they couldn't see anything. Um, so you had to laugh at the situation, you know, thankfully we, also we had to do was sit on a train for an hour and just go up and then sit back on the same train and go back down. Um, but it's lovely, if, if you're ever in Wales, um, and you know, you want to go up Snowdon and you don't fancy the three, four hour trek, do it that way. It's, uh, it is a little bit costly, it was about £35 for a ticket each, um, but you get some brilliant views and apparently on a clear day you can see, like, up to 100 miles away. Um, so I imagine it's very, very worth it if you do it at that point. But yeah, what we did next, uh, we went back to the lodge. Um, we had a lovely meal at a local, um, a local inn. And we just relaxed at night, just went into the hot tub, um, fed the ducks, and we were ready to go the next day. But look, you're feeding the, the swan and the goose. That goose doesn't seem to be very good at picking up the sweet corn. It doesn't like d dunking its head in the water, but the swan doesn't seem to have a problem. It's perfectly happy to just grab the sweet corn as it falls. And for anyone wondering why we're not feeding them bread, it's because bread's bad for you. Uh, for the ducks. And it's not great for humans either. Yeah, there was, a, there was a whole bunch of ducks that just went over. Oh look, there's, there's some on the other side over there, on the actual road. Can oh, you yeah, see them? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, this, this one seems to like the, the sweet corn. He's a bit lazier. Yeah, oh. Oh, here comes the little one. <laughs> it's so nice having this at your doorstep. Yeah. Got a lovely little woodpecker lodge. That's literally what it's called. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then that's the stairs leading out. Yeah. All right. Did you just want a photo? No, I wanted a bit of both. I wanted the photo definitely for the thumbnail. Uh huh. But just like a quick video to say hello to everyone mm -hmm. from my hot tub. Are you recording? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Hi everyone. This is the hot tub. Um. Ooh, I have jets. This makes it jetty. So this is me. This one's my favourite. Quacky. Quacky. Wake us up in the morning. As usual. There you go. There are worse alarm clocks to be here. I like your sweet corn, don't you? Yep, and it's healthy. Mm -hmm. Unlike bread. Yeah. That should not be eating bread. I think they almost think it's like a game or something. Where they get rewarded. Yeah. With food. So that one there, the one that's... This nearest duck is Alex's favourite. That's Quacky. It's the only one we've given a name to. That swan over there is really nice as well. It's really tame. And if you've seen the very, very background, that white goose, that's a bastard. He's a bully. He was over here about five minutes ago just eating every single piece of corn and chasing away all the other ducks. But he's had his fill now. And these other ducks are getting theirs. Yeah, those two. They were getting their fill yesterday, but today they're like, nope, we're just gonna hang out. Yeah. It's a beautiful well, I lake. Had, I think they've all had about enough, to be honest. Yeah. Although, to be fair, there's only three kernels of sweet corn left, so probably yeah. it quite well. Yeah. 
is the last one. One more. There you go. And oh, that's, sweet corn. that's it, all done. And so to the final part of the, the week and the final part of the vlog, um, after getting back on Friday to Liverpool, we literally just rested up for the remainder of the day because we had to be up very early on Saturday to travel down to London. <clears throat> now for those of you who remember last year, I made a vlog around this time talking about Robot Wars and going to Wembley to watch my football team that I support, Tramier Rovers, at the playoff final. Um, now if you remember, we lost last year. And it was devastating for me. I was an emotional wreck. I didn't know how to handle it. And, um, you know, it was one of the worst days in my footballing life. And my life in general. Because I hold that much passion for football and Tramia. That it just wrecked me inside. So, here we are a year later. Back in the same position. A full year later. An entire season's worth of football had been played. And we got back to the promotion final at Wembley. Um, I was sitting there thinking, it can't happen again. Um, so we got up at 6am to travel all the way down to London for the game. Um, there's a bit of vlog footage of me on the morning, um, and I believe on the coach, and then getting to the stadium. And then what I'll do is I'll leave it, uh, I'll show you guys what happened in the aftermath of the game. Short, long and short is it was the longest game of football I've ever experienced in my life. Tramia had a man sent off in the first minute. So instantly I was sitting there thinking, we're going to lose because we're down to 10 men. I was thinking, this is what we do. It's typical. We get our, our hopes built up and instantly they're dashed. But lo and behold, somehow we managed to win. And it was one of the best days of my life. And you'll be able to see, I, I lost my voice. I was going crazy on the stands. I almost slipped. I had a hot dog um, that had too much mustard on it. And the packaging fell on the floor. I almost slipped on the hot dog and the mustard um, whilst I was celebrating the goal. That would have been... You can imagine that. How did how did he die? Slipped on the hot dog. Slipped on mustard while celebrating a goal. That wouldn't have been the best way to, to go out. Um, but we won. It was the best weekend of my life. Um, I will never forget it. The best week. Um, I absolutely enjoyed every single moment of it. Tramia got promoted. Here's the footage. Um, apologies if I come across as a bumbling, nonsensical idiot, because that's exactly what I am. Um, because it was just an amazing time. Thanks for watching the vlog. Uh, enjoy the footage that's coming up. And I'll see you around. My hair. Um, morning guys. It's been a couple of days probably since the last recorded video. Um, it's like 6am on Saturday morning and me and Alex are about to head out to go to Wembley. It's very early, very tired and very nervous. You can see I've got my football kit on, which I only ever wear for special occasions. Um, so it's going to be a four and a half hour journey on the coach. In cramped conditions, then a football game and hopefully a win, and then a four and a half hour journey back. It's either going to be brilliant or terrible, but we'll see. You looking forward to it, Alex? Yeah, I guess. Run away? Yeah. All right, it's a lot in there. Here on shakes and it's red. 
inside a minute. Ford with the cross, Cook with the header. One nil trap there. They have the lead inside seven minutes. Cross it comes here to Woodarts. In goes the cross, it's a good ball, two and it's an equaliser. What a good finish from Bruno Andrade. Jennings. In goes the cross, Norwoods! In! In for Tramnia! James Norwood! Utter joy for Tramnia Rovers! Inside the final ten minutes! Tramnia Rovers are back where they feel they belong. Oh my god, what a fucking game. I have got no... I've got nothing left. They are fucking heroes, they are. Absolute heroes. I have got no words right now to describe this feeling. Absolutely amazing. You see behind me? Oh, they're taking it off. Oh, no.